guys, Mike here with another great video blog for your enjoyment and education. Today I want to talk to you guys a little bit about um, how to warm up properly for exercise and activity. Uh, a lot of people out there will start uh, exercising or start uh, their, their outdoor activity without any warm up. The reason why it's important to warm up is because you really want to minimize the chance of getting injured. So what happens to your body when you warm up? Well, first of all, your blood pressure is going to increase and your muscles are going to start to get more blood pumped to them. So your heart rate is going to go up. Your body temperature is going to warm up. You're going to heat up a little bit internally. And also the energy systems in your muscles are going to start to get activated. So they're going to work better. That's why it's more important to warm up than skip the warm up. Also, your joints are going to release what's called synovial fluid. And that is going to lubricate your joints. Um, minimizing the chance of sprains or strains while you're, while you're act, um, exercising. So, let me go through a few different movements that you can do before you exercise, either in the gym or if you're out on a, a field somewhere and you're about to play a sport this summer, if you're about to go for a hike, uh, it's important to do these activities. So first of all, find a spot that you can uh, move back and forth, maybe um, 20, 30 feet, and first thing you're gonna do is just basic jog, okay? So we're just gonna jog back and forth, very simple, keep it light, nothing to it. Go for about 30 seconds. When you've done that, the next thing you're gonna do is butt kickers. So butt kickers, you're simply getting your heels up to your butt, activating your hamstrings. Okay, back and forth, same thing, about 30 seconds. After your butt kickers, you're gonna do an activity called a cool walk. Cool walk is great for the hip flexors. So to cool walk properly, you are gonna drive one knee up, opposite hand comes up with that knee, and we're gonna come up onto the toe. Same thing, 30 seconds. After your cool walk, you're gonna move into a walking lunge. Do a walking lunge, we're down 90 degrees at both knees, moving that opposite arm with the opposite leg. Thirty seconds, then we're gonna go backwards. When we're done our walking lunge, we're gonna move into a shuffle. When we shuffle, keep your butt down and back, your face. Up, chest up, staying low, just moving side to side. Don't cross your feet. Okay, 30 seconds. After that, we're just gonna do one or two more. We're gonna come into a squat, pivot on one foot, and switch sides. So that's great for the lower body. Couple quick ones for the upper body. Let's get down on the ground. From here, we're gonna get into a flat push-up position. Take our opposite hand, reach back, touch our opposite toe, come back flat. We're gonna do five on each side. When we're done our five, we're gonna do five knee tucks on each side. Not only will that get our upper body warmed up, it will also activate our core. So that's a great dynamic warm up for you guys. I encourage you to do that before every activity you do this summer. If you're hiking, playing sports, or even if you're going to the gym, it's really gonna minimize your chance of injury and it's also gonna increase your performance because the energy systems in your body are gonna be revved up and ready to go. So thanks for watching our video blog guys and coming to homorazzi.com. If you want to find out more about our programs at West Coast Fitness Solutions, go to our website, wcfitnesssolutions.com. And if you want to get on board with an awesome fitness community, check out our boot camp, West Coast Boot Camp. There you go. Thanks for coming, guys. Have a great day.